at the end of the show, you win and you get offered a record deal with So So Deaf. Right. But you turn it down. Yeah, I um yeah, I definitely turned that down. Okay, so why did you turn it down? Um Okay, so my dad has always been a businessman. He was um an entrepreneur all my life, so he was uh, so many different hustles like like I told you drag racing in the music with the cars da da da. So he always instilled that within me growing up. So I never like even though I was a kid in the industry, I never conducted myself like a kid. I took everything for what it was. I was never, like, starstruck or anything like that. So in offering me a deal, right after I'm off a hit TV show, mind you, I win a lot of money when I win the show, regardless if I sign or anything. That's from Lifetime. I win a lot of money from the show. Okay, can you can you say how much you won? No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I win a lot of money from the um, TV show. Um, straight off a hit, hit TV show, I had already built um, a fan base, a strong social media following. I'm already booking shows. You know what I'm saying? It was, I'm already here. So in order for me to take a deal, it needs to be here. You get what I'm saying? You, you feel like mm-hmm. you're catching the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, It would just have to be something extraordinary and... Being that um, after I won the um, TV show, I took uh, I took some of my cash and invested it. And, you know what I'm saying? I was just, it's too many money flows right now. Like, I can I can ride this independent route for a minute. So if you're not offering this, I'm, I'm not even going to sit down and have a conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's basically what it was. Okay, so what did you invest some of your money in? You said you, you had investments. Yeah, um, I opened a, a clothing store. Um, it's like a woman's boutique in my area where I'm from, Jonesboro, off of Terra Boulevard. And then oh. I did the um, online store, which has been going crazy nuts, jumping off the wall. So um, it's just so many things that is, is, you know what I'm saying? Somebody have to really be offering me. We got to be talking some cash in order for me to even sit down. Okay, but when you talk about a career, mm-hmm. right, a career is long term. Mm-hmm. You may not get a bunch of cash in the beginning, right? but if oh, you yeah, have definitely. platinum definitely. albums and right. major tours, right. it doesn't really matter because whatever cash you get in the record industry, that's not really your money. That's a right. loan against right. whatever you make later yeah. on. Yeah, when I thinks, say cash, I mean like um, not even just... Because like you said, it is more like a loan. A lot of rappers, when they get cash, they're getting advances. You're going to have to pay mm-hmm. that back. I'm not, when I say cash, I don't mean like, oh, hand me this much up front. I mean, like, it has to be something where I can't pay for it myself. I can pay for video shoes. I can pay for studio time and all this. I have my own studio as well. It's a, a part of the um, boutique in the back, I have my own studio. So it just has to be, when I say cash, it just has to be some kind of monetary value to me in my career that I can't already do right now. Okay, but I mean, Jermaine Dupri has a track record of making people stars and, and taking their star power and taking it to the next level. You know, like Usher was already a star when he started working with JD, but after JD, Usher became a superstar. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't any sense of, okay, well, I'm going to take a little bit less right now, but working with, with JD, I might I might benefit a lot more later on. I definitely get the route that you're going. I definitely understand. And um, a lot of people from the outside looking in have, like, they're so curious as to why I didn't um, sign. But when you're actually in the circle, you see a lot of things that that other people don't see. I'm not taking anything from J.D. The man is very smart. He's very talented. I've I've seen him in the studio work. He's, he's amazing. Um, but... Like I said, we just being in the circle, we see a lot of things that other people don't see um, in the industry. Like uh, uh, industry people um, that I've met, we can relate to the same kind of problems that I ran into. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, were you talking to other major labels at the time or did independent just seem like the way you wanted to go the whole way? Oh, definitely. Um, There were other um, offers and still are other offers. Um, 
like I said, it just has to be something where I feel comfortable and not only just the monetary value. I, I'm a I'm a human being. My mom um handles all my finances, everything behind the scenes and my dad is here with me. Like he's my manager, he does everything. So we like to keep things like human being. I have to feel comfortable around you. Um I'm not a product. I am a product, but don't treat me like a product, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and a lot of people in the industry, they just they just wanna see they just wanna see they their money, they just wanna see their money in their bank account grow. They don't they don't look at you as a human being. Um so not only do it have to be a monetary value to me in my career, it has to be something, a situation where I feel comfortable, where I could feel like I could trust you at least a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How did JD take the news of you not signing the deal? Um, actually, didn't even speak with him. Um, and that's another reason where, where that, um, discomfort comes in. Um, it was a situation where I win the show. We we're confused because we weren't even immediately offered a, a record deal or any kind of contract. Um, a couple months later, I, I can't even remember the time frame. Um, a couple months later, um, my lawyer gets a, a a contract via email from JD's lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's a, you know it's a lot of funny stuff in that we see that other people don't basically. Okay, so you and JD really didn't have any conversations after the show ended. No, um, not not as far as um signing any contracts or record deals go no definitely not okay so you leave the show Mm -hmm. and you start grinding again independently right Right. but by this time you have more exposure because you were on tv for however however how long so it made a big difference right oh yeah definitely definitely okay so what started to really work for you once you didn't kind of have the show behind you anymore um my fan base, my fan base um was is the growth period. Um being on this TV platform, you, you got to understand there's like we had millions of of viewers every Friday that tuned in to the show. So I have all these people tuned in on my social media right now um and right at the at the time. Um and it's just giving them content content um to keep them tuned in. Um, but yeah, after the show, um, the growth was amazing. 